California liberal politicians have found yet another way to help out criminals. This time, they're forcing small business retailers to keep cash on hand. Coming up, I'll tell you why this helps criminals and hurts small businesses. I'm Carl DeMaio, Chairman of Reform California, and there is no question about it, crime is spiking across California because liberal politicians have enacted policies that have empowered criminals rather than punished the criminals. And it hurts small business retailers the most because they're the most victimized by smash and grabs and other uh, theft. It creates a very dangerous environment. When criminals come in, they typically are armed, and it can lead to violent confrontations. Instead of trying to solve that problem and crack down on crime, the liberal politicians of California are doubling down to help criminals. The latest move is a bill passed in Los Angeles that really responds to what small businesses are desperately trying to do to protect themselves. A lot of small business retailers in Los Angeles and frankly throughout the state of California, they're going cashless. They're basically saying, don't give us cash. We're not going to keep cash in our drawer. We're going to use credit card and debit card only. Now, the businesses don't want to turn down any business. So this is a, a, a very serious situation for a small business to say, we're going to be willing to turn away people who could only pay in cash because the risk of being vandalized, of being burglarized is far greater and the losses would be greater than any sort of loss that we might have for turning away someone who only has cash. Um, businesses don't want to do this, but they're forced to do this because California liberal politicians have failed to deal with the epic crime wave that is gripping our state. Here's a story by Fox 11. Uh, LA City Council moves to ban cashless retail businesses. And here is the video package. The city of LA moving one step closer to banning cashless retail to businesses that don't accept dollar bills and coins as payment. The city of LA has voted unanimously to study policies in other cities and then launch a plan locally. Some council members say many low-income people have no choice but to pay cash because they don't have bank accounts to make credit card purchases. So many businesses prefer cashless only retail because of the convenience. Going cashless also reduces the cost of handling and transporting physical cash. Well, that's only part of the story. They also don't want cash on hand because they're afraid of being robbed. And in fact, the businesses that are going cashless are not just saying credit card only. They're putting signs up that say, right now, they're putting signs up that say, we don't have cash on the premises. Uh, so this is really not about cost efficiencies. That's not uh, the, the, the driver here. Of the small business owners that I've talked to, they're going cashless because they don't want to have a target on their back uh, for criminals to come in and rob them. So uh, the liberal members of the city council in Los Angeles say that uh, it would empower all residents to participate in the city's economic life and to purchase goods and services. That was uh, the argument made by liberal criminal coddling politician Heather Hutt. Well, Heather, if you really cared about poor people, you wouldn't let them be victimized by crime. You wouldn't let them have to pay higher prices at the cash register because of the losses businesses are having to absorb and pass on to their customers because of your criminal coddling policies. If you really cared about poor people, you'd stop raising their taxes, you'd give them better schools, and you would protect them from the cost increases on everyday products and services because of your crime wave. This is insanity, my friends. And the media needs to start calling out these criminal coddlers for what and who they are. These are the ones that are hurting the lowest rung of the ladder. In a crime-ridden society, only the rich are able to kind of absorb it. But the middle class and the lower class, they're going to hit uh, the, 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 the they were, they're going to suffer the consequences a lot more. Um, you know, the motion read, others may not be able to participate in the formal banking system or may be excluded from that system against their will. Racism, barring the use of cash as payment method, it means excluding too many people, excluding people. 
The only people you're wanting to include are criminals. The only people happy about this are the criminals. Oh, sure. It is an inconvenience. There is no doubt about it. But you know what also is an inconvenience? Having to lock up products in all the CVSs, Targets, Walmarts across the state of California, or not having a store in your neighborhood because that store is suffering too much retail theft and has had to shutter their doors. You don't care about people having access to goods and services. You don't care about convenience, liberal Democrats. You care about your criminal coddling policies. It's quite clear what side you are on. And so there's no choice at this point. If a business says we don't want to take cash, it is their economic right to do contracts in a manner in which they feel comfortable. If the Democrat politicians are so worried about people being able to use cash, create an environment that is safe for people to use and keep cash in their registers. Simple as that. At Reform California, we're fighting to bring these and other stories to Californians so they know exactly what is going on, so that they can see the story behind the story. Most voters are going to see this saying, oh, I'm so glad that our city council is fighting for the little people that don't have debit cards. And you saw in that news article, uh, the, um, the news story, It didn't talk about crime. It talked about uh, efficiencies that businesses wanted to achieve. Hogwash. This is a crime story, not big business or small business wanting efficiencies. This is a crime story, hands down. We also need your help to elect better politicians. We have a whole campaign to endorse better district attorneys, better sheriffs, who are going to be strong on crime and law and order, as well as better city council members, mayors, state assembly members, and state senators to enact better policies. We're working hard to repeal Prop 47, which is catch and release. Prop 57, which allows prisoners, violent prisoners, to be released from state prison and back on the streets. All of these policies will lead to a safer, more secure community for all Californians. But we're going to need your help in this election. So go on to the website, restorepublicsafety.org, restorepublicsafety.org, chip in a contribution, as well as sign up for being a volunteer and to get our voter guide. Also, help us break through the liberal media's censorship by liking this video and sharing it with your friends. Also, subscribe to this channel so we can continue to bring you daily news updates on California politics and what you can do to join the fight to restore sanity in our state. Until next time, it's Carl DeMaio, Chairman of Reform California. Thanks for watching. Help us break through the censorship of the liberal media by liking this video, sharing it with your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel.